happy, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Listen, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thankful and grateful to see this brand new day. I have a word for you. Jesus saves. Oh my goodness. You know, today's testimony of Thursday. So I want to share some things that I know Jesus saved me from. There are things I know he saved me from. There are things that, that I know that, that, that I don't know he saved me from, right? There were times when I put my life in danger, just, just wanting to have fun, just living for the moment. When I started going out, it was probably about, I was probably about six, about 17, I'm going to say 17, right? I started going to clubs and stuff, honey. That was my whole life. I lived for the weekend. I just had to go out. I had to be in the club with a drink in my hand, ready to dance all night, gets hot and sweaty. Like that was, that was what I loved doing. I lived for the weekend. I really did. I was like, I was that, I was that person that would be on the dance floor. Like I'm going to dance, right? And I did, I, like I said, I went out so much, so much, so much. I don't miss none of those things now. When you want, when you want different, you got to move different. I ain't knocking nobody that's doing that. But that life, that ain't the life for me anymore. You know, been there, done that. And um, I found myself making poor decisions in all of that. There are times when, you know, I was on the back of somebody's motorcycle. I couldn't even tell you their name. We going like 100 miles per hour on the, on the interstate. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was I thinking about? <laughs> There's so many times I was in the club, they were shooting, they were fighting, and I was not, I, 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 can't, I got, I made it out. I made it out. I made it out. All of those things. I kept putting myself in danger and didn't even realize it, right? But Jesus saves. He saved me from, he saved me from me. I was, I was on a road to self-destruction. I didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't even worry about that. I didn't, I just had no fear when it came to those things. I just did. Didn't have any fear. I was living for, I was living for the moment. I was living for the weekend. It was all about the weekend. It was all about going out. It was all about getting drunk. It was all about having fun, having sex. It was about all of those things. That's what it was all about to me, right? God saved me. He saved me. He saved me even when I didn't know who I was, even when I wasn't trying to save myself. And there's so many things that he said that he has saved us from. If you're still alive, you're, you're blessed. You're blessed. Because look what all the look look what everything you came through. Look all the stuff you made it through and you're still here. I mean he's not done with you. He is not done with you. If you're still alive today, he is not done with you. I'm so grateful and thankful that he saves. He saved a wretch like me. He did. I'm telling you, I was out here losing my whole entire mind, but did not even know it. I was, it was all about living for the weekend. It was all about having fun. It was all about getting drunk. It was all about having sex. It was all about making bad choices, making bad decisions. He saved. He saves us. He saves us. Even when we just we just have no clue what's going on. We just, I, we just, whatever, we want to get high, want to get drunk, want to just numb, just numb yourself, numb yourself, numb yourself, and then that's, and then it wears off, and you got to do it over again and again and again and again and again and again, and it becomes a cycle. It becomes a cycle. And I'm just, I'm just so glad and so grateful that I am still here, because I'm telling you, I was out here reckless. I wasn't caring. I wasn't thinking. All I was living for the weekend. All I wanted to do was turn up. All I wanted to do was have fun. That's all I wanted to do. And fun only lasts so long. <laughs> fun only lasts so long. You know, that, that type of fun. That's what I thought was fun. That only lasts so long. And so, you know, looking back on the person who I used to be and who I am now, it's like, girl, you was out here wilding. But look at you now. And I was listening to Pastor Keon the other day, and he made a statement. I wrote it down because it's something that I, I know that we do we have a tendency to do. Stop expecting people to be perfect when they come out. You have a new call, and it doesn't matter what you used to do or who you used to be. Stop hiding. It's time. It's 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 how you. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. God has a strategy for the imperfect. Listen, that is that is me. I am the m perfect and God had a strategy for me before I even knew it okay I didn't even know he had a strategy for me 
but he has a strategy for you as well. You know, I got to the point where I was just sick and tired of me. And I was like, I'm tired of this cycle. Nothing changes if nothing changes. And it all started with me, right? So once I, once I, you know, woke up and began to work on personal development and discover who I was, not, and not so, so much of what other people expected of me and what they wanted from me, you know? People want you to look like a fool at their expense. Oh, get drunk. Oh, do all that crazy stuff so they can laugh and talk about you. You know, and it's like, no, no, that's not, that's not what I want to do. That's not who I am. That's not who God called me to be. And so I just really, really, I'm just so, I'm just so grateful and so humble and so thankful that he saves. He saved. Jesus saves. He saved a wretch like me. Listen, I was wild. I was wild, man. I just didn't, it was like, whatever, whatever. I was living for the moment. I was living for the moment. And I'm just so gra so grateful and thankful that I'm not that person anymore. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for everything that happened in my life because it, it taught me something. Everything that happens in your life, it happens for a reason. Wherever you are right now is where you're supposed to be. I know I said that yesterday, but it's so important to realize that where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. So, you know, look at look at life and life is full of lessons. <laughs> there are lessons all around around there are lessons all around you. People in your life are lessons. They are. They're people, they're seasonal people, they're people that are lifetime. We got to know the difference between the two. And and, and when you try to hold on to somebody that God is, is not that wants you to hold on to, you're gonna be you're gonna be living the life of pure hell. I'm gonna be honest with you. So you have to know when it's time to to let to let go and let God and um and so that's that was real real huge for me because I was just in this place of unknown unknowing of God and unknowing of myself and it just yeah I was stuck right I was stuck for so long and so I'm just grateful and thankful that He saves He saves He saves my God I'm so grateful and thankful this morning that's my testimony. Um, Coach J. Rose, I'm, I'm imperfect. I am imperfect. I'm going to mess up. And guess what? It is okay. Love, 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 like love. Love is everything. Love yourself and love others. Regardless of what they do, how they might treat you. Love them. Love them. That's what God wants from us. Okay? I'm complete. I am done speaking. You guys have the most amazing Thursday on purpose. Peace and love.